was unbelievable, unbelievable for, from them. But, um, you know, I, I just think Katie Madison had a career game. And, um, you know, she's playing out there on about a half a leg sometimes with the tights and all the surgeries. And, you know, she's a senior, and she doesn't want her season to end. And that's why she played today. I thought that, um, you know, uh, we were unselfish with the basketball. Two games around now, you see the assists are up and the turnovers are down. And, um, and, and the rebounding was, was obviously a huge key for us. Well, that's the challenge that, that, we, you know, that we've kind of put in front of them is, you know, are, are you, you know, as a competitor, are you about getting better or are you getting through it? And these kids answer the bell. I mean, no doubt they're about getting better. And uh, again, the upperclassmen. I mean, we only have two seniors, but you know, they want to you know go as long as we can go. And and I thought that was just so evident. I, I thought Rosetta too uh, at the point guard position and hitting those big threes and just showing great poise out there against the press, mm -hmm. and in, and then getting us in a better you know a better flow offense of being taking good shots. Uh, you know, to her credit, being a junior in the program too is is really exciting. But um, you know, just overall, it's uh, it's been a test of character all year for this young group. Uh, you know, with the tremendous schedule that we played preseason and all the road games, and they could have easily chose to, you know, get caught up in the kind of the woe is me instead of, no, this is a great opportunity to represent Washington State and play great competition, and it's getting us ready for the Pac-10. And, and getting ready for the Pac-10 has come to fruition for them. So hats off to this group for the leadership by the upperclassmen and these younger kids for choosing to be champions and not just be, you know, kind of packing it in.